Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First, I would like to apologize because my common language is not English, and I do know it's not going to be easy for you to understand, but I will do my best, it's a promise. I will also mention that if I make this record possible, it's not because someone has given me some money or power or whatsoever to share this with you people. I decided to do it because this case is a real matter for me, and I carry this deep in my heart each day of my life. My heart and my conscience tell me and asking me to keep fighting for them. I have seen on the web many posts and sharing about this case, and some of them didn't strike enough because it wasn't complete or some critical information were missing. So I decided to dig deeper to finally find out. I did found a story about a woman. Much people are talking about her life and her story. She has so many qualities, and I can tell you from my own life as a man living without my mother, this woman has indeed totally captivated my attention because she is a fighter and no one will be able to break her will. She did what she had to do to save and keep strong her daughters and she fight again and again to be present for them. At this point I can't look aside and deny her strong will and honor to keep living parts of her alive. While she is not able to reach them at all, I wish my own mother could be inspired herself from her. This charismatic woman has a name. Her name is Alanud Alfayez. I do hope to pronounce it right. As our struggle has taken place and together we finally should realize how important it is to help and keep helping those who have been put on the side for being honest and telling the truth in front of the world. Her daughters Sahar, Jawahir, Maha and Hala did indeed fight for women's rights in Saudi Arabia and for this reason they have been jailed for many years and this wasn't enough as the king himself decided to take a type of vengeance and this, as you may know it, is not acceptable at all. As you may imagine, those four princesses have lived in hell and men out there told them to better losing all hope of having a normal life once again not be able to marry, not even able to feed at will and spend a life without a chance to see and reach the world as a human being. And yet, all this happens without respect and tolerance. Even starving their pets, I believe one of those pets name is Gala, he is a very cute dog. Unfortunately, he died. They even starving them too. As you may see in the pictures, they have been through abuses of psychological type and something must be done quickly. Luckily. This case did have the chance to emerge. We should not consider those women as forgotten prisoners. We should instead find a way with UN Human Rights and Amnesty International and other organizations to break this silence and fight once again for their freedom. And every good man or woman who want to do something good in his life should not hesitate to face injustice and you should be without fear because what happens to those women is treating them harder than criminals but they didn't arm anybody. Just imagine this situation if you were there, would you not be happy if someone helped you? Of course with good intentions, as I know from my belief but first off from my heart. Help those who are in need and wish to your brother or sister what you wish for yourself. I do believe in rightness, justice and honesty, no matter what religion I am attached to. But somehow, I see around me a real mess about the way much men handle women. It must change for sure, and it must be shared again and again. Much people do not know exactly how to behave to finally reach happiness at the side of a woman, 
as both of them decided to marry and live together in reach of a successful union. For those who are still missing a part, I will share some of my knowledges. In fact, a good man should respect the rules of marriage. He must keep his word and his promises, before and after marriage. A fine husband should be a protector and a real companion. Many skills as respect, honesty and love should be primary as we know faith and honor is the case for success. Opening your heart for each other will unlock many benefits for both of you. Stay at her side and share everything with her. Treat her well and care for her. Patience is from high expectation. You may have some fun with your friends outside sometime, but don't forget that at home someone is waiting for you. So make sure you respect your engagement by coming home soon and share some time at her side because those moments are unforgettable. Offer a gift have a positive impact for both of you. As the prophets say, offering gifts to each other will ensure growing love between both of you. Help your wife while she is cooking. You may even make a surprise in the morning and prepare her breakfast. Why not? Help her for home duties. The prophet was indeed helping his wives. Be a present parent for the education of your children. Organize activities outside with your wife and children. Take time to care about your relationship. Talk about the good and the bad. Make joke and have positive behavior. Dress well for her and for yourself. And be fair and lovely for each other. This small list of action is just a turn of what you need to accomplish to be a good husband or to be a good Muslim. This type of behavior will indeed make a woman happy and she will live in happiness as a princess at your side because your love and care is worth more than everything in this world. And she will rely on it because you're gonna be a man of promises and rightness. And if I decide to share it, it's because I do know some relationship are getting close to chaos. And for those who are forgotten the importance of a successful relationship and happiness was linked to it. This may not be the case for everything, but I'm sure it will indeed help a lot. If a man do not focus on those points, it means simply that he is getting further and further away from his duties. Do not forget this. The best husband is the one who will be the best toward his wife. You can read it in Surat and Nisa. I decided to share the basics of the man's behavior because Islam is known for submission and hardness against women, but this type of behavior is accomplished by people who do not fear God, and they have decided to act and to hurt by their own will. As you may understand, a woman has to be treated good, almost as a flower when you eat water each day. And those who talk badly about women, threaten them and treat them like animals, have for sure forgotten they were born because of a woman gave them birth. If you still don't understand the link between the four princesses, their mother and some rules of marriage, well, this record is actually a reminder and at the same time a letter for those who are not rich with a role, it represents also hope and courage for those who need it. A gift for people who didn't know something essential and finally a message for those who I care about and have a very unique place in my heart. As we getting deeper in this case, I would like to talk about my good friend Joseph Morris, Abdul Aziz, an American Muslim. I do know him and he is a good man, with good intentions and honest in his choices. As we all made choices in our life, he made a great one. He decided to marry Jawahar Sol, little sister of Sahar. He tried again and again, but the result did not have any success because some people have concluded that he should not have the chance. He also contacted her brothers in Saudi Arabia and Los Angeles to explain the situation, but he did receive silence in return. Finally, when they realized on the newspaper it was not just a wish, but an accomplishment, they even blocked him from having access to Saudi Arabia. His love for Jawahar will not disappear. Whatever he is being through, the situation makes him only stronger and proof once again that much people out there didn't understand the real purpose of their religion. In fact, no difference has to be made between black or white. As every Muslim know, no distinction must be made. Racism and xenophobia should not even emerge if you have true faith. As a reminder, I will tell this once again. Wish for your brother what you wish for yourself, as you wish for your sister what you wish for yourself. Finally, for people out there, you should be a prince to marry a princess, and you should be an Arab to be with an Arab. 
and skin color looks to be one of those critical requests of many to be accepted. The real definition of prince or princess will be defined on basics of their actions in real life, the impact of real actions toward poor and mean human, by giving zakat and doing salat. A faithful human is actually defined by the goodness of his heart, day after day, good actions after good actions. Those four women deserve good men. Those who have those unique qualities and care, because all what live inside your body can be touched, as for example, a good heart and a good soul, and your daily wish to be good day after day, years after years. I pray and request freedom for Sahar, Jabahir, Maha, and Hala al Saud, and their beds. I strongly wish to see a smile on their face again. I wish courage and strongness for their mother who is suffering much. And if she hears this, she may know that I'm ready to do everything for her and even visit her in England if needed. As you all know, Jabahar and her sister are still prisoners for having telling the truth in the eyes of the world. For me, they represent a change, a new generation, equal rights for women, having the right for them to drive, to vote, to go shopping without control and pressure. I wish those people who are holding them behind bars will finally understand that this way of treatment has to stop, and that the right organization will have the rights of the humans to talk, to convince our biologic reasoning finally force them to stop and once and for all grant them freedom. I strongly wish that Joseph Morris, the American Muslim, called Meb Jawahir al Saud, daughter of late King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz, her freedom will represent a huge change for him. As the time goes on, seconds after seconds, minutes after minutes, weeks after weeks, years after years. It has been a long time right now. It is time for them to start a new life. It will indeed change a lot and break the barrier of radical thoughts. Skin color has never been a criteria of goodness, kindness, of any degree of fate. As much people have their thoughts and prejudices, people should investigate the way you look inside instead of looking outside, because the best man among men is the one who will focus on good actions and fate. Dear Joseph Morris, Allah has shown you by multiple signs that you are on the right path and that you should keep fighting for your case, because behind a trial lays a goodness. For those who are listening, please help and do something. Share this and share it once again, just to make sure something serious is done for helping those princesses by transferring this information. I hope they may have a normal life again and enjoy their freedom at the side of their mother who is really concerned about them, as I am sure she will ensure a good treatment with the best that life may offer. All men and women deserve to be happy and live their happiness and freedom. And before I forget, Sahar, for all what you did and all what you say, you should know that you have a very unique place in my heart. My heart is yours. Free the four. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.